Hi guys and welcome back to episode 14 of Nanem Nemo's Ghost Recon playthrough. Um, if you've been looking at the other videos you may have seen the uh, vlog I guess you could call it. It wasn't really, it was just a bit of information. Um, there, yeah, that video I put up, I said explaining, I've played these missions before. So, but it's been about a week now so hopefully I'll still be kind of not sure what's going on. But it went fast motion so I had to redo it. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video despite that. And uh, thanks for watching. Цепных псов в доме не держат. Волк и расчет. He's not talking because he's a grunt. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> oh, I know you're Kozak from New York. And I know they brought you in because your unit can't keep its men alive. How many is it now? Four? Five? <laughs> nice ink. Saw a bunch of dead men in Georgia. We got here, who's that? What'd you get? His tat. Some Russian folklore about men who choose to become wolves. Tell DIA to start hunting references to Bodark. That right, explains the multiplayer. <laughs> You've got Ghost versus Bodark. So they must, they're little, the like, the elite of the, the um, red. The, you the, will go the red way. raven. The red, the the raven. DIA's Red Ravens, I don't know. <laughs> what the name? I can't ever remember the name of this bloody He's a career soldier, an impressive tactician. Enemy faction. And he might be the hero of the loyalists. Need Ravens Rock forces must know. Ravens Rock, there you go. We don't know the exact situation on the ground, but we know he needs a hand. Get in there and take the pressure off. If he can take it from there, I'd say he's the man for the job. Sounds like we've got fun, so yep. Uh, we're in Russia again. Name is Valiant Hammer. The uh, mission name is Valiant Hammer. Our objective is to ambush Raven's Rock forces and to ease pressure on the resistance. General Alexei D Duka. If that's how you pronounce it. Um, I don't think there's any new tech for this one. I'm going to get sensors because they're useful. Frag grenades because they blow stuff up. Um, I'm gonna have to give me a minute to. Is it MSR? Is that my? Yeah. I think I may have already customized them. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick with the MSR. And. I'm pretty sure this one as well. Yeah, I'll stick with those two. Um, the only thing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, I want to make sure it's fully auto. Um. Right, that's all sorted. Uh, I'm gonna start the mission. So we're looking like we're trying to rescue a um friendly Russian general. Basically, that's the uh, mission objective. And hopefully it will go reasonably smoothly. And hopefully uh, this will be the last time I have to record myself playing this mission, and it will go smoothly as well for on my computer's end. Because like it's it's I'm it's, it's, it gets a bit annoying actually. Because like especially the Call of Duty ones, I can't avoid it, and because they're not too long, you can kind of voice over them and stuff. But on these, it's just like so annoying when the, uh, when my computer messes up it's just like ah uh, but hopefully like I said hopefully it'll be fine I'm a little bit worried it might actually just be my computer being rubbish Clear. but we'll have to see alright gentlemen let's go to work if Duke is as good as they say we just need to get him some room to work and if he's not 
We improvise. <coughs> Airspace is real tight. Situation's too fluid for that. We're gonna pull our own recon on this one. Ah, uh, the old-fashioned way. Drones and sensors and shit. Drone might not be a bad idea. Sounds like they got artillery doing work. They're taking General Duke's. I just like my camo. Well, maybe he is worth risking our asses for. Looks like three riflemen. To our left. Clear him out. Okay. I don't think like four we could. If we got them now, it would work, but. Depends what way they're working. I'm gonna have a quick look at the map as well. As you can see, I've got uh, two. I did two of the challenges anyway, so I did manage to do this last time without alerting any enemies. So, fingers crossed, I'll be able to demonstrate the challenge again. What I found as well is that you could alert enemies as long as you don't get engaged. If they find a dead body, like dead body, then you, as long as you take them out quick enough, then it's, that's fine. Seems to be... I can't remember how, how exactly... Oh, bugger. Right, I'm pretty sure this side you can neutralize. So I'm going to go around that way first and try and take out those boats. And then I think I came back around that way and took out them. And like I said, I'm trying to do, I don't want to, just because I've done it, I could easily you know, go, oh, I've done it already, don't need to worry about it, run through, but the point is, it's kind of like, I'm, I do want to be able to sort of help people a bit if they're getting stuck of exactly how to do it. I mean, it changes every time, which makes it a bit awkward, but... There's another one. Dead ahead. Like, I reckon, if you shoot them, they're going to notice. Simple. Those four are a bit more isolated, so that could be. A, we could. I could probably even just take them out now. I might just go around because, if anything, it looks like I should have just done this the first time. I'm gonna shoot the one. If I can see number one, I'm gonna go for them. No way do I wanna, because I I know that I wanna stay on this side afterwards. On your shot. Right, pretty sure that should be fine now. I'm going to move back here. Only thing is, is that uh, he's walking towards those dead bodies. Which isn't exactly what I want. How far away are they? Like, it's almost next to them actually. Too close. Is there a slope there? Only thing is now they're getting too close, so I could just go. That's two targets. One, two, three. Holding for your shot. Um, I think that seemed to work quite well. Yeah. So by the looks of it, if you clear out that area first, then you can take out these three here, and then those three at the back and it stays relatively um, you don't get detected which is the objective of that or no, it is the challenge you're trying to do, I mean that's not the whole of it, there's still more to go but, but that's, there's a, I think there's three parts to it so where am I trying to even go? Uh, trying to make it, yeah, so it's trying to get to the observation point so If your teammates as well crouch down, it's another thing I've noticed. Um, they tend to crouch down when there are enemies, 
So if you can't see any and your teammates crouch down and you're running, just crouch down, just make sure your camo's there. Because it's better to be safe and mess it up. This one is quite an important bit I remember from doing it last time. Um, if I throw a drone up, the I can't remember, I'll have to think through it again. That's quite cool, the birds there. Uh, on like the proper camo. Yeah, these two blokes at the back here don't notice if you take out these two blokes. So you can kind of I think you have to wait a bit as well for these guys because they all kind of wander around quite a lot. So I'll see if I can remember what their patterns were because those two you have to hit at the same time. But then I was I think I was slightly worried that they would notice so I'm, it might have been that I even took out them first <laughs> and then those three and then maybe those two or those two and then these three so I might just go for that shot straight away now Ready. On your word. simply because I don't think anyone will notice and uh, seems to be that I'm right so now, it's quite difficult. If I change the view, it's still it's like hard to tell the terrain. Sometimes it's better to. Um, that's where you want to be able just to look at. Because here I can see that there is at, there's a really kind of they're obviously able to look at each other. So you have to be able to take them all out at once, rather than trying to get an idea of what things are showing with the with the uh, drone. So like here, like there, those. I meant him. That guy is walking off completely the wrong way. So, if you take out those four, or even not him, you could probably take out those ones. And then those two. And then those two. I mean, I didn't even need to fire then. So, you can take out the two in the windows because they kind of can see everything down here. And then, depending on how they're grouped, you take out those two groups. And, uh, then those two at the end, which they don't, they're really easy to take out, if I'm honest. Like, that's barely any effort. Pretty sure that's everything done. That's the two, um, that's the observation point reached. So, that would, that should get you the challenge if, you, um, if that's what you're trying to get you're struggling to get it. So the first one was the group on the from the from where Kozak is. It was the group on the left on the left fork of the road. Then the front right and then the sort of back I guess you could say back centre. Um <coughs> sorry. Um then after that this one was the two in the windows um, and then the front group, depending on how they grouped at the time on yours, it'll be relative to how where where they are for you. Um, and then you can take out this. We've got two blokes at the back at the very end. And that should work. I'm not going to guarantee it, but by the looks of things, that should work. Right, that's how I, I'm pretty sure that's how I did it both times. Though again, on the first one, I think I may have done the front right before the sort of front left. But yeah, I'm sure it, it's not too important. <coughs> Watch for threats. Copy that. So from this point on in the mission, if you nice if you move. don't really like being move stealthy, move. if you find it difficult. I don't That's think you need to be anymore. There might be. A, I don't. I'm pretty sure there's no points where like you're not allowed to get alerts. So. Overlord there's no reason for you to be sneaky. I mean, I probably will try and be a bit because I enjoy it. But. Copy that, Hunter. Watch yourselves. This thing goes south. We're not going to be able to pull you out. Understood, Overlord. Hunter out. Alright gentlemen, let's go knock on some doors. 30's good. Roger that. Let's go, ghosts. 
I think... Well, I'll just check they're not going to say anything. Yeah, I think one thing to point out is that whenever you get into a conflict, you've always got to kind of just consider that if you just take out, the, if you just mark four enemies before you start firing, no matter what, uh, even if you get detected from those four enemies, there's still four enemies less, you so you can take out a lot of them before they even know you're there kind of thing. The so that's always sort of a good thing to try and take into account. Again, at this point, there's that bloke on that tower you want to take out, because he's really trying to see everything. Um, drone, as well. Again, even if you're not being sneaky, the drone, it just helps you know where everything is. And uh, a lot of the time, that can be quite quite useful. That, their gun turret boat, and I think I think those four. Don't think there are any, any other enemies. And I'm hoping, because where he, where... Because of where he is. Can I get a shot? Oh, I haven't. I might quickly check on the drone again. Two hostiles. In the building. On your shot. Got one. He's history. There you go, like, I didn't actually take out many, but four people less than what I'd have had to fight is always worth it. So I think that bloke, there's a bloke up there as well. LMG. I have to say as well, this I've become attached to this uh, lock on ammo. It's a bit irritating sometimes, like I found when you're trying to take out turrets and things. You're trying to aim at like the leg of the person, and your bullets just try and go to their face all the time. So it's a shame you can't like switch it on and off because that'd be really cool. But otherwise, you can kind of just take it at your own pace. I'm gonna switch to my uh, L2A2. Not, I don't know if we're in combat anymore. I think we've taken out all the people who sort of knew where we were. So, hopefully, yeah. Right. Again, always try and use the full advantage of the UAV, just to even work out where enemies are, even if you're not going to try and take them out cautiously. Right, where there are enemies, if there were enemies near those gun turrets, you'd want to take them out. Things like that. Straight ahead. I think there's One another is that another gun turret? Can't see I'm sure there must be more enemies than this. Hmm. Curious now as to where seems to be only one guy. Right, there we go. Hmm. Well, there we go. I have absolutely no idea where he came from. Um, yeah, this is gonna, again, that LMG now, because it's of the way it's got like the gl glass front into it, I couldn't take that out if I wanted to, without getting like a round, oh, sort of barbed wire fence. Without kind of getting a bit, having to get around it. Right there, I can't. But it's where frag grenades for, aren't they? Try and get it into there. I reckon that's long enough. See, I can shoot him in the elbow there. 
uh, something you couldn't do with that sniper because it goes for headshots. So, if you know that the mission's going to have a lot of kind of heavy fights in, it could be that you you want to actually not bother with uh, that lock on ammo. You don't want to make your whole gun set up and then all of them, like whoever you're trying to kill, just can't like you can't get a shot on anyone because of their your ammo making you aim not where you want to aim. That's again. That's why I was saying it's a shame you can't switch it on and off. But everything has to have a bit of a disadvantage, otherwise you just use you always use the power of ammo. Alright, cool. Now I'm checking in this building. Right. Waiting for all team members. Come on, Pepper. Get a move on. Okay. So I'm getting intel from the map. General Duca ringed in by artillery. Positions are pretty close by. We knock those out. It might give Duca the breathing room he needs. I want to check this building first. Here we go. So this is where we're trying to take out artillery units. Oh shit, hold use turret. <laughs> this is where enemy turrets come in useful. Hold that shot. I love how that's like a heavy cannon and uh, it's just unable to shoot through like a bulletproof front of this thing. It's a bit mad. Recall on this gun though is mad. It's so difficult to aim with it. It's trying to, it's like trying to shoot a crazy LMG. Because I'm just having to burst fire it. But got rid of it. And I'm pretty sure using the machine gun turret is probably the easiest way to take that out. So there we go. I'm not sure, have I actually fired that many shots? Bloody hell. Reinforcements are inbound from the west. All right. They're going to try and trap General Duca's men between them. Overlord, you still got the general's combo frequency? Affirmative, Hunter. What's the plan? Tap us in. Kozak's going to make contact. Uh, copy that, Hunter. Just do me a favor and don't mention us by name, all right? Stand by. Warn them about the attack and let them know we're going to take care of that artillery. Kozak, you're in. General Duca, Zapada приближается вражеские силы. Какое подтверждение? Сообщите нашу безопасность. Мы идем уничтожить артиллерию. Мы сообщим, когда задача будет выполнена. Кто это? Союзники, господин генерал. Как это узнать? Узнаете через минуту. Конец связи. Is he on board? He will be as soon as we take care of that artillery. Then let's do it. Right. Um. I think what I'll do, I'll end it here, and I'll start the next video up from this point and um, so thanks for everyone for watching so far and I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough I hope you will play through hope you found it a bit of information a bit informative as well if you're stuck at all at any of those challenges that I was or at the challenge I was talking about um, but yeah uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next episode